So we've been doing well in terms of crypto. We've been rallying. We've been, been creating uh, new highs for this bear market cycle in terms of the global market cap of crypto. SHIB is climbing finally. These are the things that you would hope to see. Right now, we're up at 5082. Again, we're still in that tough range of resistance for SHIB. It's, it's got a little ways to go, but we're getting there slowly and steadily. Now, I will say this. There are people that are going to make some mistakes here, and there's something that I don't think people should be doing until 2025. And I want to explain this to you guys. Now, I've seen people say, yeah, I want to liquidate my bag when I get to break even, or yeah, I want to go chase some other coin because it's pumping faster and people can do what they want. Absolutely. They can do what they want. SHIB again is likely going to move slow in these levels. It's got a lot of liquidity to work through. This is where the highest concentration of that is. And then again, like we talked about yesterday, it can move very quickly once you get through those levels. Now, what I have to say is that uh, if people aren't familiar with the psychology of a market cycle, you guys need to familiarize yourself with this, um, this wall street cheat sheet. Okay. If you lay this over crypto charts, it, it plays out like perfectly. All right. This is what we go through every four years. We go from the highs of a bull market cycle, thrill, euphoria, the excitement, right? Down into these areas of panic, capitulation, anger, and depression, right? For example, right now, we're likely just coming out of this depression phase. We're probably like right about here. And for example, what you may be feeling in here, my retirement money is lost. How can we pay for all this new stuff? I am an idiot, right? Many people, if it's your first bear market cycle, you've probably felt these exact things. Well, the good news is as you get through this, you get to better times. You get to disbelief. You get to hope, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria as you get into the late bull market cycle. Now, why 2025 is so important? Obviously, 2024 is likely going to be a very good year in terms of crypto. It historically is. You get into the bull market. You get to the Bitcoin halving. You see the beginning of alt season. Late 2024 should be if history holds true, that should be when you see about all time highs in terms of most assets in the space, she being new included. Okay, as always, this is not financial advice, but <clears throat> just look at what's happened throughout history. The reason why 2025 is so important is you have the highest rate of adoption and the most capital influx in that last year of a bull market cycle. Many people, if you are bouncing from coin to coin, if you are liquidating your bags at break even, which may be somewhere between obviously here and all time high, you are doing yourself a disservice because you're missing the most explosive part of a bull market. Again, people can do what they want. It's not financial advice. That's not what I'm here for. Okay. I will say this, many people who have touched crypto and have gotten burned before, they're not going to come back until all time highs, until basically the beginning of 2025. That's when you will truly see mass adoption taking off. You will truly see those people that have been scorned by crypto, the pe people that are calling crypto dumb and calling people idiots for being in crypto. That's when those people begin to get in. And this cycle starts all over, right? There are people that become bag holders for the next market cycle. They hate crypto. They go through their first bear market and, and then away we go into the next bull market cycle, right? That's why I think 2025 is so important. There are people that are going to yet again make this mistake. They're going to liquidate. They're going to walk away. They're going to kick themselves that they didn't stick around. Shiba Inu, like I mentioned yesterday, I think has one of the highest potentials as we get into a bull market cycle, because now <clears throat> there is something that Shib has that it did not have last time, and that's brand awareness. Okay, People are familiar with Shiba Inu. Again, it's the fourth most searched coin. There's active development going on. There's whales are buying it in huge loads, right? There's, there's a lot of things that are positive about SHIB. And right now the lagging metrics, ha, ha, lagging metric has just been that price. And again, it's because of the liquidity, right? That's just, it's simply what it is. This isn't, you know, it's not witchcraft. It's not science. It's it just what it, it, it's just what it is right now. But when we start to work through some of these levels, when we get to better sentiment overall, when we get to the having bull market all season, that's where SHIB has its highest potential. And I think if people are leaving before the highest potential, I don't know what to tell you. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your guys' plan is moving forward. So appreciate you guys as always. Show your support below. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.